Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will solve another exercise on loops. And here is the exercise. We want to write a program which finds if a string is a palindrome string or not. So what is a palindrome string? A palindrome string is read the same starting from the start or the end. Here are some examples. These strings over here are palindrome strings. So for example, take this string into consideration. If we read it from the beginning, it is N O O N, right? And if we read it from the end, it is also N O O N. So it is read the same starting from the beginning or the end. Another example, this string over here, it is one character, right? So if you read it from the start, it is A. And if you read it from the end, it is also A. So this is also a palindrome string. And this string over here and this one are also palindromes, okay? Now have a look at these strings. These are not palindrome strings. Because if you read this string from the beginning, it is 1, 2, 3, 1. And if you read it from the end, it is 1, 3, 2, 1. So it is not the same. Also, this string is not a palindrome string. So we want to write a program that finds if a string is a palindrome or not. So pause the video and try to do this. Let's see how we're going to solve this exercise. Suppose that we have this string over here. We are going to iterate over this string starting from the start and starting from the end. So we are going to have two variables. For example, a variable called i and a variable called j. i is starting from the index 0, so we are starting from the first character. And the j will start from the last character, which is at the index, the length of the string minus 1, right? So now we will compare the character at index i and at index j. So is n equal to n? Yes, this is true. So now we are going to increment i and decrement j. So now i is at this character and j is at this character. So are these two characters equal? Yes, they are. So now we will increment i and decrement j. So as soon as i crosses j, we know that this string is a palindrome string because all the characters are equal. So at this point, we will stop iterating and we will say that this string is palindrome. So let's see another example. Suppose that we have this string. So we have a variable i and a variable j. Is this character over here equal to this character? Yes, they are equal. So we are going to increment i and decrement j. So now i and j are on the same character. So is the character at i equal to the character at j? Yes, they are equal. We have the character b. So we will decrement j and increment i. So as you can see, i and j have crossed. So we can say that this string is a palindrome string. And also, we can say that this string is a palindrome string when i and j are equal. So we can stop iterating at this point instead of waiting for i and j to cross, all right? Let's see another example. Suppose that we have this string. So i will start from the first character and j from the last character. So in this case, it is the same character. So as you can see, the character at i is equal to the character at j. So we'll increment i and decrement j. So i and j have crossed, so we can say that this string is a palindrome string. And also, we can say that this string is a palindrome string at this point over here when i is equal to j. So now let's see another example. Suppose that we have this string over here. We have a variable i and a variable j. So this character is equal to this character. So increment i and decrement j. And now as you can see, this character over here is not equal to this character. So immediately we say that this string is not a palindrome string. So when we find two characters that are not equal, we will stop iterating. So let's go to IntelliJ. So as you can see, we have this string over here. We are going to iterate over this string using two variables, i and j. So we are going to use a for loop, and inside this loop we will have a variable i starting from the first character, okay? And we also want a variable j, right? So we can declare the variable j over here. So int j is equal to, so we want the length of the string str minus 1, okay? Now what is our condition? We want to keep iterating as long as i is less than j, alright? So whenever i is equal to j, or when i and j cross, we will stop iterating. And after each iteration, we want to increment i and we want to decrement j, right? So suppose that we have some statements over here. When these statements finish executing, we are going to decrement j and after that we'll increment i. Now I want to show you another way of writing this code over here. So first of all, let's get the variable j. And after that, put a comma over here and paste the code. So what are we doing? We are declaring two variables, i and j, and we are going to use these variables inside the loop. So we don't need this anymore. And also, let's remove this statement, and I'm going to put a comma over here, and let's say j minus minus. 
So this is the same code that we had from a little bit. We have two variables that we are using inside the loop. This is our condition. And after executing the body of the loop, we will increment i and decrement j. All right. So now what do we want to do in each iteration? As we saw in the slides, we want to compare the character at i and the character at j. So if the characters are equal, we will increment i and decrement j. So first of all, let's get the character at i. So str.char at i. So is this character equal to the character at j? So let's get the character at j, all right? So if this condition is true, we are going to continue. So we are going to increment i and decrement j. And after that, we'll check the condition. If this condition is true, we will compare the characters and we'll do the same thing if they are equal. Now, if the characters are not equal, this code over here will be executed because the continue statement will not be executed. So what do you want to do? At this point, we want to say that our string is not a palindrome string because we found two characters that are not equal. So I'm going to use a boolean variable. So let's say boolean is palindrome and this will be initially true. So I'm supposing that the string is a palindrome string. And if we reach this point over here, we know that this string is not palindrome. So I'm going to set is palindrome to be equal to false. And after that, I don't need to keep iterating because I know that this string is not a palindrome string. So I'm going to break. Now, if the string is a palindrome string and if it is not a palindrome string, we will reach this point over here. We will exit the loop. So if is palindrome is equal to true, we know that the string is palindrome string. And if is palindrome is false, we know that the string is not a palindrome string. So I'm going to print something like this. Let's use a ternary operator. The condition is, is palindrome. If this is true, let's print palindrome. And if this is not true, we will print not palindrome. Okay? And this is our program. Let's try it. So as you can see, this string is a palindrome string. Let's try another example. I'm going to change this character. So this string is not a palindrome string. Run the program. And as you can see, we have not palindrome. Another example. Let's say we have only one character. Run the program. And as you can see, palindrome, okay? Now let's try the string ABA, all right? As you can see, this is a palindrome string. Let's see what's happening exactly. We are supposing that this string is a palindrome string. And after that, we have our variable i starting from the character a and the variable j starting from the last character, which is also a. Now, is i less than j? Yes, this is true. So now we are testing. Is the character a equal to the character a? Yes, this is also true. So we are executing continue. So we will increment i and decrement j. So now i and j are at this character over here. So at this point, we can say that our string is a palindrome string. So now we will check the condition. Is i less than j? No, this is false. So we'll exit the loop. And as you can see, is palindrome is equal to true. So we are going to print palindrome. Now let's change this character over here. And let's see what will happen with this example. i is going to start from the first character and j will start from the last character. So is i less than j? Yes, this is true. So is the character at i equal to the character at j? No, this is false because a is not equal to c. So what's going to happen? The continue statement will not be executed and we'll say that the string is not a palindrome string and then we'll exit the loop. So at this point, is palindrome is false? So we are going to print not palindrome, okay? So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.